Hi, it's Anthony in Reno. Over the past couple days, I've watched a person I know struggle to produce a result that they really needed to produce. And as they were struggling to produce these results, they started making a list of all the reasons they couldn't accomplish what they really needed to accomplish. And she came up with a pretty exhaustive list of 20 reasons. This is why I can't get done what I need to get done. And it's interesting to me because maybe you've been there. Maybe you've said to yourself, my territory sucks and I just don't have the customers I need to be able to make my number. Or maybe you've said, you know, all of the best customers in my territory are already taken and they're not responding to my, to my email, they're not responding to my calls, and I'm struggling to produce this result I need. Or maybe you've said to yourself, I don't have enough time to actually do these things, um, even though all of us have exactly the same amount of time and we all get to make the decisions on how and what we focus on. And this really is the crux of the issue. You get the result that you focus on. And so if you focus on why you can't do something, your mind will come up with all kinds of reasons and it will help you rationalize that decision and it'll help you rationalize the, the loss of that result that you really wanted. You won't be able to achieve it that way. Even though that's your brain and your mind trying to protect yourself, from the damage of failing and absolving you of the responsibility to try. But there's another way, and so with a little prodding and a few questions, it turns out that there's another list that you can make too, and you can make this list yourself and you can help other people that you work with to make this list. But you have resources available to you. And when I prodded this individual, it turns out that there were resources. She had people who could help her with the challenge she had. She didn't think there was money available, but when she went to people and told them what she was trying to accomplish, there was money available to help her get the result that she needed. And she didn't have the time, and honestly, she's a little overcommitted. And she rearranged her schedule, and she asked some people to postpone some future commitments so she could dedicate herself to that task. But as she started to make this list of resources, it turns out that she only needed three or four resources to overcome the 20 excuses she had for not being able to produce that result. And ultimately, she produced 95% of the result that she needed to produce. It wasn't 100%, she wasn't perfect, but she got good enough and she got that result done. So here's what I want you to focus on. This is what I'm asking you to think about. You've got this list of excuses. You've got this list of reasons that you can't do something. You need to match that list with a list of resources, of all the things that you can call upon, whether it's some sort of internal resource, whether it's friends and family, or peers at work, or money or time, whatever it is, you have the resources. And when you start making that list, you'll start to look at your problem through a new lens, a more powerful lens, and a lens that's gonna let you produce the outcome that you want. I'm Anthony Anarino, thanks for being here. I'll see you next time.